Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to explain to you the fundamentals of abilities and effects in RPG Builders. These are two of the biggest modules in RPG Builder and they will work together uh, very well for pretty much anything combat related. They are not only used for combat, you can use effect and abilities for things uh, such as items, uh, interactive nodes, so objects that you can interact with in the world, etc. I'm going to cover all those things in other videos. Um, this one and the future videos are going to be very much focused on the combat side of things. So this first video is going to be about explaining to you the basics, what these are and how they are used together. And then the next videos are going to be about showing you in detail, for example, how to create projectiles from scratch, how to create AOEs, how to create ground targeted abilities, how to create a dash, how to create a uh, shape shifting effect, for example, such as uh, something like a wolf or a dragon that you can even fly with and things like that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you all that. And the first thing to understand is that um, you have to see effects in RPG Builder as a function or a mechanic that you want to trigger at some point. Like I said before, they are not only triggered by abilities, they can be triggered by dialogue, they can be triggered by interactive notes and so on. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the ability side. So imagine that you want an ability that is going to be an AOE around you and you want this ability to stun every enemy around you, right? So in this case, you would have an effect of type stun and you would then attach this effect of type stun to an ability of type AOE, right? So, uh, and then in the ability itself, you will have access to all the settings you can think of, such as the radius of the AOE, what kind of units can be hit by this AOE, for example, pets or um, allied NPCs or neutral NPCs or enemies NPC, you have control over all these things. And then um, you have, you know, you, you have the possibility to attach your um, stun effect. And then you have even more control over this effect. For example, uh, should there be a delay on this effect? Uh, should this effect uh, spread to nearby target or things like that? I'm going to show you all this both in this video and in future ones more in depth. So let's take a look at um, one of the ability here that I have, which is a fireball. So as you can see, I'm casting this fireball and once the projectile hit a target, it's going to deal instant damage. This fireball has two effects attached to it. It has the instant damage that we just saw, and it also has another effect, which is a burn, so damage over time. But this one has a chance to be applied. It's not going to be applied every time. So let me use it again. Still no burn. And in this case, you see that the burn was applied. So this is a random chance every time you hit a unit with this specific ability to apply a burn. So um, let me show you how this works in the editor. So first of all, here uh, we have a fireball effect. And in this case, you can see that each effect has a type. In this case, we have the type instant damage, but you can see that we have access to a lot of type already out of the box. Stealth, flying, blocking, motion, knockback, uh, even loot tables, pet, silent, all these kind of things. Um, some of those are not yet fully implemented, uh, such as silence, uh, taunt, and... Um, I think that's pretty much it, but these are going to be implemented uh, in the next update anyway. But all the rest is here for you, ready to use. And in this case, as you can see, it is of type instant damage. Now, I'm not going to go in details about all this field. This is going to be for another video. I want to keep this one very short to give every RPG Builder user a short introduction to those two very important modules, right? But as you can see, uh, you have a damage value, uh, you can decide if it should damage a flat value or, for example, a percentage of the max um, health or whatever stat you attach here, by the way, because here you see that we decided we decided um, this fireball damage effect to uh, damage the health, but you could damage any vitality stat you want, such as mana, energy, whatever you want, whatever stat you create. Then you can decide the type, so in this case, magical damage. And then you can even attach a custom type. So in this case, I made a custom damage type uh, of type fire, and I can attach to this. You can even add your weapon damage and many, many other things. Here you see that we have visual effect also. Uh, so in this case, uh, whenever I hit a unit, you can see that it's you know triggering this kind of fire explosion on it. That's where you decide that. So you can decide um, to have a hit fire here that will be spawned on the hit target. 
and you can even trigger an animation so if i go ahead now and go um, a bit closer maybe to one of those uh, practice dummy you can see that when we hit it it's actually uh, playing a hit animation pretty cool now let me show you the anim uh, ability side of things so let's go in the editor again and look for the fireball ability Again, I'm not going to go in detail about every single settings because here we have quite a few uh, abilities are completely massive um, in the way that, um, you know, giving you full control over pretty much anything, every field, all these things. But as you can see here, I'm quickly going to cover um, the very important uh, part of this ability. So as you can see, it's of type casted, but it could very much be instant or channeled. And then we can even be slowed while we're casting it. You can choose if you should show the cast bar or not. You can choose if you should be able to move or not while casting it. And then we come to the very, um, very, very important, if like the most important settings of an ability, the ability mechanic under the ability type uh, section. In this case, it is of type projectile. But as you can see, uh, depending on what type your ability is, you have access to very different settings, right? Um, so yeah. All of these settings will be adapted to you to only show what really matters. And as you can see, the projectiles in RPG Builder uh, are some of the most advanced ability mechanic because you have a lot, a lot, a lot of settings. So uh, I want to show you how quickly you can change an ability. And not only you can do this very quickly, but you can do this directly in game. So let me just once again um, show you this fireball ability so as you can see i'm casting it right and after a short duration it's going to uh, cast this fireball only one projectile and hit the target right so now let me go ahead here and um, change uh, this fireball ability add some angle spread and add maybe like 12 projectiles instead hit save go back to game and as you can see right now already in a few seconds we made a very very different ability now, as you can see, uh, the projectiles are getting destroyed as soon as uh, they hit a unit, right? What if we wanted those projectiles now to actually go through those units? Well, it's very simple. We can add, for example, max hit 100, which means that each projectile is going to be able to hit a maximum of 100 units. And now, as you can see, um, the projectile actually go through uh, those units and hit everything that's behind. Pretty cool. Now, what if we wanted to add some um, uh, delay, for example, in those uh, projectiles, for example, something like 0 0.5 and maybe a um, sh uh, you know, smaller angle and maybe like six projectile here. Let's see how this looks. It's very much, you know, about you um, testing and playing around with the settings. So, you know, pretty cool. Now we have some kind of angle projectile like this triggering one after the other. Um, so yeah, you can really, really have fun with it. You could make it now go um, 360 degrees uh, with no delay in this case. And that's it. Well, in this case, it's not many projectiles, so it doesn't look so cool. Uh, maybe let's make it um, 20 and see how that looks. Yeah, much better. So yeah, pretty cool. Now, um, how would you add new effects? So right now, as I explained before, uh, in this case, we have the fireball damage uh, effect, which is the instant damage. And then we also attach a burning effect. And as you can see, it has a 50% chance to apply. What if now I wanted maybe to add some um, slow effect to it? So uh, in this case, I have the frostbolt slow effect already applied here. And as you can see, I can now very easily uh, use this. And you can see that now each unit has two debuffs. So it has the dots and um, the uh, slow effect here. We can also very easily, for example, add some knockback. So let me add another effect once again. And let me actually put this back to a more, um, like an ability that's more like casted forward. So maybe like uh, 45 angled and maybe like five here, five projectile. It should be nice all right and as you can see now it has some knockback on the units uh, that we hit really cool what if we wanted now this uh, knockback effect to be a lot stronger so i'm gonna go ahead look for the knockback and here you see that the knockback distance is two what if i wanted this to be 15. 
So we just change the value and that's it. We just change the value, we save and we go back uh, to the game window and test it in game. So as you can see, very, very powerful uh, modules uh, from RPG Builder. And literally in this video, I only showed you uh, the fireball ability. This is literally just one ability out of thousands of unique abilities that you can create with RPG Builder. So this series is probably going to be a lot of fun to show you um, a lot of things that are going to be uh, possible for you to make with RPG Builder, as well as, you know, how to make it look good with some nice animation, some nice particle effects on your abilities and so on. So I hope you like it. Um, let me know if you have any question or suggestion as always in the comments or on Discord and see you in the next video.